Why am I sitting at my desk making a video? This isn't usually where I make videos. Why am I drinking hot chocolate on a September afternoon? It's like 85 degrees outside. Why do I edit on Final Cut Pro as opposed to Premiere Pro? So many questions. But let's talk about that last one real quick. So this is a photography videography channel. So naturally, every once in a while, I got to talk about photography and videography. And one of the aspects of that is editing, video editing. And one of the boring parts about video editing is software. You might be so passionate about something. Maybe you make music, maybe you make jewelry. You gotta learn details about your passion that you may not like. I used to be a snowboarder. One of the things I hated about snowboarding was how expensive it was, so I quit. <laughs> I mean, there's other reasons why I stopped doing it. I actually kind of want to get back into it. But that's besides the point. The point of today is why Ammon Clough uses Final Cut Pro. Not only why I use it, but I actually switched from Premiere Pro over to Final Cut Pro. Let me tell you why. One of the ways I keep my videos organized is making notes. Sometimes I even storyboard. Ew. I'm gonna try and be... No, I'll be biased. I really love Final Cut Pro. Coming from Premiere Pro, it's so much better, especially on this machine. I use a Mac. So if you're a Mac person, these are all the reasons why I think that Final Cut Pro is better for you, okay? First point I wanna make, the price, okay? The price. Final Cut Pro, you pay $300, period. That's it. All the updates so far have been free, so that's great. If you want just Premiere Pro is $20 a month if you pay for a year. If you do month to month, it's $30 per month. Final Cut Pro is cheaper. I've had it for two years now, I think. So if I would have been paying for Premiere Pro this whole time, it would have eventually been more expensive than just buying Final Cut Pro. The second reason is because of this Mac. Final Cut Pro is optimized for Apple. It's optimized for a Mac, and I'm pretty deep in the Apple ecosystem, so it's better for me. The third reason why I like Final Cut Pro better than Premiere Pro is because of the magnetic timeline. Final Cut has a magnetic timeline, so if you cut something, chop it up and delete it, it'll just, the gap will automatically close in Final Cut, which I really like. Number four, proxies. In Premiere Pro, if you're editing and you wanna press the space bar and have it play back, you have to use proxies, especially if you have a whole bunch of 4K clips. It just doesn't work in Premiere Pro. It's gonna lag, it's gonna be choppy. You're not gonna be able to play back your footage until you either render it or if you've used proxies. But with Final Cut, you don't need proxies. There's all this rendering and all this efficiency going on in the background because it's optimized for a Mac. I'm actually don't getting to the it. point don't say it. where I want to try out you Final Cut Pro. Jump ship. No, not jump ship. I know, and Let's this is because this we were on team. Tyler Salmon's podcast, uh, and he is really, really, really... Well, he said something he that... Knows, he's, he's really smart. He's really smart. The, he said something that stuck yeah. with me, which is like, yeah, Final Cut Pro is optimized for Mac. It's built for Mac, on I know. Mac, I everything. I heard that too. And I've been sitting I'm here... I'm not against it. Well, I just want to try it. I just want to try it and see. Number five, one, two, three, four, five. Number five, fast rendering. You get really fast rendering with Final Cut because it's just doing it all in the background. That's the thing about Final Cut. It just does everything for you. You don't have to know how to do it. When I was first starting out, I was using Premiere Pro. I didn't know how to do all those things. And even if you do know how to do those things in Premiere, like switch to magnetic timeline, or use proxies, or adjust the settings so that the rendering happens in the background, or whatever. If you know how to make it be efficient, not only do you have to go in and do those things, you have to know how to do those things in Premiere Pro. Final Cut just does all that for you. Another thing that's different, Final Cut uses Apple Motion, Premiere Pro uses After Effects. I will admit that After Effects is more powerful than Apple Motion for doing motion graphics. But most people that edit, they just use plugins. 90 to 95% of the time, we just use plugins. And Apple Motion does that just fine. Number one, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven, Final Cut Pro is a lot easier to learn. You don't have to be as experienced or as a 
as professional of an editor to just go in and learn how to use Final Cut Pro. I found that with using Premiere, you had to know a lot of things already before going in and just being able to use it. I spent so much time on YouTube, typing in tutorials, asking YouTube how to do something just to learn how to use Premiere Pro at all. A lot of video editors, creators, filmmakers that I really respect use Premiere Pro, like Peter McKinnon, Iz Harris, Johnny Harris, all these people who know what they're doing use Premiere Pro and they seem very, very happy with it. A lot of filmmakers and editors and video content creators who I respect, on the other hand, use Final Cut, like Casey Neistat or MKBHD or Tyler Stallman. They all use Final Cut. For a while there, I did miss Premiere Pro's color editing, but since I started using Final Cut, they've updated their tools, including the color correction tools. <laughs> And it's just so great. It, it's honestly so great. You could have a PC that has way higher specs than a Mac, faster GPU, faster CPU, faster RAM. <laughs> I don't even know all the terms. But you could have a computer, a machine, that on paper is better than a Mac. And you could be trying to do something with Premiere Pro and it would just take you longer. Versus me having this baseline Mac running Final Cut, things just happen faster. It's just more efficient. And I don't necessarily know why, but those are the reasons why I like Final Cut Pro better. It's just faster, and my workflow is just faster. It will render faster, it exports faster, it imports faster, you can play back without having to make proxies. Hope that helps. Try Final Cut. You might like it. You might hate it. Let me know if you hate it. I'd be interested in knowing why, but I'm not gonna switch, <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, man. Cool.